We're here at iFootage. This is Madison Lee from iFootage. Hello guys. And he's going to introduce you guys to all the gear here. Hello guys. So I'm from iFootage. My name is Madison. So let me demonstrate um, some, of, uh, some of the new products to you. So have a look here. Um, we have our new uh, Shark Slider Mini. It just came out today. We announced it today. Uh, it's a really perfect slider for people who love traveling. Um, and you can do a manual slide motion. Uh, with, the, with the mini flywheels, you can actually do um, uh, a very, you can capture a lot of smooth footage with that. Um, the, it comes with uh, uh, extendable wheel track, so you can extend it as long as you want. Uh, as you can see, the, um, the module uh, motion unit, unit here, um, you can replace the flywheels, just plug and play, and you can mount the motion module straight on it. Um, very quick deployment and to set up the um, yeah all the time lapse stuff. Let me show you how it, how it works. So here you can see this is the manual setup. The flywheels at the back is already installed, and when I push the slider, it gives you that inertia uh, movement. So when I let go, you see how smooth it is to create that ease in ease out motion. Unique selling point with this uh, product. Uh, it has no belt, it's, so you don't need to worry about losing the belt when you when you go and do your uh, your shoots. And uh, you see the all all modular base. You can just install the extension and all that is really quickly. It's, the motion unit is already set up. Uh, it's all fully fully controlled with the with the uh, with the app. On, the, on iOS at the moment, so Android will come very soon. This is the app for the slider itself. Um, we're still improving it to before before the release, but it's a fully functional app. So uh, if you, it's an interface, you can do the timeline control, menu control, the focus mode, panoramic photo stitching mode, and, and all other settings. So if you go to menu, uh, you can actually move the units. You can, suit, you can do a, a, a lot of different keyframes on the app uh, and set up with the uh, breezy curve with the, with the breezy curve control as well, so you can create a very precise time lapse and uh, video motion. If people would like to do a like a tilt, you know, motion control or manual, uh, the base itself you can do a 45 degree uh, up tilt, so you can see that it's still keeping the the head horizontal while it's panning up and down. The, the catch here is I press it in, you can make it like a 45 degree or more. Yeah. So I put it right that down and you lock it in place. So it's very versatile. This is the slider module. Um, I can just unplug it like this, so easy. So because there's a catch on both sides. Um, so yeah, once you put a battery in, here you can actually see we attach the electric ray E1 to it. So this unit can run for whole day doing time lapse without changing any battery. So you can see how, how easy it is to just plug it back into the unit. So just one there, align it right and put it in and off you go. It's very easy, the whole thing probably take you about two minutes set up and go onto the app and you can set, set up some keyframes and there you go, capture some really excellent footage. Here we have the Cobra 2 series. Uh, you've probably already seen it at the CB Plus. Um, this is uh, our brand new monopod system. Uh, we have five products here, and all, all very different. So for this one, Cobra 2 Strike, uh, with a very special fast release system, so with a twist, and that's how you extend the monopod. And with a quick release, this is a patent design. Uh, with a quick release, you can actually mount another, another Cobra 2 Strike on top. And if you want to do like a, if you want to put a 360 camera on top and do a very high ground coverage, this is very easy for you to do. So another special feature with the Cobra 2 series is the the, the mini pod. So with the mini pod, again with the fast release system here. There we go. This is how easy to release this, and then you can mount the uh, a different units on it. Like for example, is, um, a handheld stabilizer. You can mount it on the mini, mini pod. If you're vloggers, if you're bloggers, you can do you can do all the setup very easily and do uh, your own coverage. You can mount this rubber foot back to the monopod, and then you can use it as just a normal monopod as you want. So again, see fast release.
Very simple. So, with the other Cobra 2 series product, we have the, the buckle design here. So, it's just a different setup. Um, this is more reasonable. This one, yeah, the whole the buckle design one is more reasonable. And uh, there you go. Hey, filmmaker, Shungda here. If you're wondering what kind of rig or tripod monopod I've been bringing to the conventions that I've been to this year, so uh, all my gear literally fits into this backpack. And yeah, let's go to show you what's inside. So what I'm using is the iFootage monopod. It has this nice base. And the great thing is I can actually make it into a tiny tripod. Another thing is I have here two monopod sections. These I connect together. And actually this part is a bit too much too much add this on top and now I have a proper monopod at a size of pretty much almost my own height so this is the iFootage C120 monopod it's a carbon monopod the lower section is 120 centimeters and this is an extra bit on top this monopod is perfect for the travel vloggers or actually other people that travel and want to do a cinematic travel shoot. This is so easy. It also has like a nice feet to stand on its own. I can leave it standing quite easily. And these snap buttons or these clicks are really easy to open and close. And literally I can leave it standing like this. And yeah, especially if you are thinking you want to have a more stable shot for like time lapses during your traveling, you can actually collapse it down, remove this bottom bit, well, other way around, and grab this top bit. Now you have a more stable small tripod. You can put this on the ground, put it on the table, and get your cinematic time lapses. So all in all, using this monopod for like NAB and also yeah, traveling it to America, this has been a great monopod to use as it fits into my backpack. I don't need to have a big bag or a big luggage just to put a tripod or a monopod in. So I hope you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.